Okay, I've put the camera up a bit higher so that you can see most, uh, if not all, of the type case as I show you how we set type. So again, everything here is organized by that scheme. You'll have that diagram of the type case to help you as you set. The next tool that you're going to be using is one of these. So this is referred to as a composing stick. This is what compositors, and compositors are the folks who set type, would use to get the movable type out of the case and begin to get it set for printing. Now, I, I have a kind of set um, design that we'll be following for this project, again, because we have to keep things pretty controlled. And so in a normal job, you would spend a little bit of time figuring out precisely what size leading to use. Remember, leading are these strips of lead that uh, separate all of the lines when you're setting type. Um, and you set those based on perhaps the paper that you are composing for. So if we were going to compose for this, we might see this is 25 point leading. And you see that this would allow us to print on this page with a nice generous margin uh, around the page. Everything in the letterpress shop uh, can be measured quite precisely. So there are these rulers around that would allow us to see that this is 25 points. And points is the kind of currency of the letterpress shop. So we take our composing stick and always begin with a piece of leading. You can't just start putting type in here. If you imagine if I just start putting loose type in here, it will stay because of the bottom of the composing stick. But as soon as I try and take that type out, it's just going to fall because it's loose. I need a wall essentially to hold it in. So I begin with a piece of lead and then I actually adjust my composing stick to the length of the lead that I'm using. From here, I'm going to begin setting the type.